Hey everybody, this is Jess, a normal guy, with a GIMP tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you some techniques that I used when I made my backgrounds for my game Galactic Pilots. So, first off, create a new image, width 1280, height 720 and for your first step you just want to fill it in all black choose your bucket fill tool and just fill it in black now go to filters noise HSV noise I'm putting the value all the way up 255 and if you can't guess, this is going to be the basic first step for making stars. A lot of stars with little effort. It's a nice way to go if this is the style you want. So you can experiment with the different parameters. Find what you like. I'm going 7, 4, 4, 255, and when you're ready, press OK. OK, here's the beginning of your star. Click Filters, Light and Shadows, Sparkle. Turn bright spots into starry sparkles. That's what we want, so let's check this out. Okay, again you can experiment with the different parameters. My preview box isn't working for some reason, it likes to do that. But after some experimenting, this is what I like to do. Luminosity threshold all the way up flare intensity all the way up, spike length somewhere around 12, um, transparency all the way up. You can experiment with this and when you're ready press OK and wait for it to sparkle. When I was first making my game I looked around a little bit trying to find tutorials kind of like this except better but <laughs> I didn't find anything that I liked so I wasn't very experienced with GIMP so I just experimented a lot and I figured out some useful tricks here's a nothing too hard or really amazing but things that I didn't know before so I decided to show you guys okay so your stars should have been sparkled and they uh, really aren't very bright so go to colors brightness contrast and you can change this if you want. I like setting the brightness somewhere around 73 and the contrast somewhere around 63. It makes them look a little bit brighter. Maybe I'll just go uh, 73, 61 and when you're ready press OK and now your first major step is done. Now create a new layer transparent over on top of your first layer make sure it's selected go to filters render clouds solid noise filters render clouds solid noise and I have the detail set to 1 X and Y size at 4.0 you can change this if you want. 
press OK. And there, that kind of just messed up the whole thing. But going to fix it now. Select your pencil tool. Choose the largest circle brush size. Scale it up all the way so that it's really big. Now change the mode to color erase. It's the fourth one from the top, I think. Um, make sure you have black as your selected color. And if you can't guess, this will erase the color black from your selected layer. So, if you do it on this solid noise, it erases the black and leaves this space cloud looking effect. And that looks pretty nice. But I'm going to change it. I'm going to go to colors, colorize, okay, put the saturation up, the lightness down, you can adjust these to your liking, and the hue, change that to whatever color you want. I think I'm going to go with red, and I want it to be a deep red, not too bright. Something like that, I think. So I have it set to 0, 95, negative 76. Okay. That's kind of cool. Uh, add a new layer. Transparent. And move it in between your two previous layers. Make sure it's selected. Go to Filters, Light and Shadow, Supernova. And I'm going to make a two layered star. The first, or the, the first layer is the layer in the back. It's going to be a hot pink color with a radius of around 45 and the spokes around 150 I'm moving it to position 345 282 you can move it wherever you want and when you're ready click OK alright so, like I said, it's going to be a two-layered star. So make another new layer, transparent, in between your cloud layer and the back layer of your star. Make sure your new layer is selected. Go to Filters, and you can just go to Reshow Supernova, second from the top. With this layer, I'm going to do a bright red color and it's going to be a smaller star so something like 20 100 and the same position now you can change the opacity of a selected layer with this bar right here so if you don't like how they're balanced, you can change, maybe you want the top layer not quite so opaque, or the bottom layer. I think I'm just going to leave mine. Well, I'll change the back layer to like 90. And that's it. So thanks for watching. And bye.